Okay guys, in this video we want to talk about finding the best location to mount the block of mega fuses that comes with your 20 circuit kit. Each of your power cells is fed by two 8 gauge cables. So you get two pairs of 8 gauge cables, one for the front power cell, one for the rear. Also included in your kit is this block of four mega fuses with a common bus bar here at the top. You're going to bring primary battery power into the bus bar so off the positive terminal of your battery, and then each of these four fuses protects one of the eight gauge cables, two for the front power cell, two for the rear. And these fuses are here to be the weakest link in the chain between your battery and your power cell. Because if one of those eight gauge cables were to break to ground or short to ground, you want this fuse to be the weak link. You want the fuse to open before that cable gets hot. You want to keep this block of fuses as close to the battery as possible because you want to minimize the length of unprotected cable. So we found a great location here in the Jeep, right in front of the battery. It's a nice flat spot. We can make an aluminum plate to hold this block of megas. It's a very short run using our four gauge cable going from the positive terminal of the battery to the bus bar here on the mega block. And then it's a real easy run to run two eight gauge cables to the front power cell and two of the eight gauge cables to the rear power cell. So stay tuned and keep watching. We're going to show you we're going to mount the rest of the cells in our 1979 Jeep CJ7.